The 2024 draft class is young, and I mean really young. In July, six of the top 100 prospects will be 17 years old on draft day, and that does not include the handful of preps turning 18 within three months of the draft. With reclassifying becoming a more common approach by top-ranked juniors, this year may be a pivotal point in MLB draft history. Hey guys, this is Brett with Baseball Prospect Analysis, and I hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to talk about the very young 2024 draft class and the upsurge in preps reclassifying. But first, if you enjoy high school and college baseball content, consider subscribing to the channel. We're getting really close to 3K subs, and any support would be greatly appreciated. Now, back to the video. With MLB Draft only five months away, scouts are now prepping their schedule in order to guarantee they can see every prospect on their hit list this spring. Media outlets are drafting up stories and mock drafts for fans to enjoy while leading up to the draft. This year's big story is going to be the young high school class. In the top 25, there are currently four preps who either reclassified to skip their junior year or will be turning 18 less than a month before the draft. Connor Griffin, the true five-tool LSU commit out of Jackson Prep, leads the way at number eight. Connor skipped his sophomore year after leading his school to a state championship as a freshman back in 2022. On draft day, he'll be age 18 and three months. Ken Community's cousin Cam trails not too far behind at the number 19 slot. The strong-armed lefty impressed scouts at last year's summer circuit displaying a dynamic four-pitch mix headlined by a mid-90s fastball. Following last year's success, he'd skip his junior year, making him draft eligible for 2024. Cam will be one of the youngest on draft day at 17 and 11 months. One rank below sits Slade Caldwell at number 20. Caldwell is a highly energetic center fielder with plus speed and some pure on-base capability. The Mississippi recruit will be age 18 and one month on draft day. Lastly, IMG Academy's Noah Franco sits comfortably at number 23. Franco's potential two-way ability made him the number one ranked prospect in the 2025 class before he reclassified in January of last year to be draft eligible in 2024. On draft day, he'll be age 18 and two months. Outside of the top 25, you have Levi Sterling at 40, Braylon Payne at 62, David Shields at 63, and Aiden Harris at 83. And all four of these guys will be age 17 on draft day. So why is all this a big deal? Why does it matter if a prospect is 17 versus 18 or 19 when college guys are getting drafted in the top 10 at ages 21 plus? Well, there are a number of reasons. First, the MLB is one of the few American sport organizations that allow players to get drafted right out of high school. This in itself is already somewhat controversial as it allows professional teams to offer signing bonuses that most college NIL deals could never match, giving high school athletes a huge incentive to skip college altogether. And if a player fails at the minor league level, it should be noted that with current NCAA rules, they will not have the opportunity to play college ball after. This should all be somewhat self-explanatory and has been an issue debated for years among league officials, but this year could make that conversation even more publicized due to the decreasing age in prospects. Generally speaking, top-ranked prep prospects are given three roads to take following graduation. They can opt to honor their college commitment and wait three years before coming draft eligible again. They can sign to a JUCO and be draft eligible the following year, or they can announce for the draft immediately following their senior year. Each road presents different advantages and setbacks, but they all cater well to different unique situations. However, it's been no secret that MLB teams prefer to sign prep talent and develop them themselves rather than draft a 21-year-old college guy, especially when it comes to position players. Arms are more up for debate, as injury frequency in, albeit mostly right-handed teenagers, has caused organizations to stray away from spending first-round money on high VLO preps. With that said, a draft class like this year where the talent is good but not amazing compared to previous years, and an influx in 17-year-olds and would-be juniors who reclassified a year up will greatly impact mid- to high-level college prospects. From the prep side of things, this is exciting, as former top-ranked 25ers have taken advantage of a weaker draft class to solidify a better chance at high-round money. But from a college prospect, stance is nightmarish as a fringe second rounder may now fall to the third or fourth round due to increased competition. Where the college prospect's floor may be higher, the development window will be shortened compared to a prep 17-year-old who may sign for less to avoid going to college. While this draft class may not impact the 2025 or 2026 class too much, it may truly change the 2027 class and future. If organizations decide to go heavy on young prep prospects this year and it pays off with highly developed 19 and 20-year-olds approaching their MLB debut, you better believe the trend will become a new norm. This would be a huge benefit for high-ranked juniors moving forward as they would be able to avoid another year of high school ball and eliminate any chance of injury while also getting MLB-level training a year earlier than previously thought. MLB orgs will now be getting younger prospects, essentially giving them another year of development to slowly mold them into the player they envision. So now the big question is, when will this be regulated and how will they go about doing so? 
With current MLB regulations, a high school prospect may be drafted upon graduating high school. There is not a set age minimum, which essentially means a baseball prodigy could be drafted at age 15 if he started high school early. With that said, I don't think it's outlandish to say that we will see the first 16-year-old drafted by an MLB team within the next five years. Even if that 16-year-old isn't touching 98 on the mound or smashing 100-plus exit velos, an MLB organization would be sold solely on the fact that they get to handle his development from such a young age. Remember, they are already signing young international prospects for millions. Just last month, catcher Ethan Salas was signed by the Padres for $5.6 million at age 16. Personally, I'd like to see them alter the current rule, making it so a prospect must be age 17 or older to be draft eligible. This allows seniors with late birthdays to still be drafted while preventing prospects from skipping two plus years of high school ball to be draft eligible. Lastly, this will also help colleges stabilize their recruiting classes so that a bunch of commits don't reclassify, potentially flooding a position or class if they decide not to go pro. But as of right now, this is all speculation, and this July will be the telltale sign if this reclassification trend will be a new norm going forward. And that's about it for today, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this short 2024 draft class video. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for weekly uploads. And as always, I hope y'all have a great rest of your day.